everyone, the Game Chief here. Today I'm going to be doing a video on setting up automatic restarts and messages with CF Tools Control Panel. In this video, I'll be going over why using CF Tools Control Panel for automatic restarts and messages is a good idea. And I'll be showing you how to set up those restarts and messages. Timestamps for everything is on screen right now as well. This video is sponsored by Caliber Servers. Caliber Servers provides dedicated machines with amazing configurations such as the Ryzen 9 5950X and the Ryzen 5 5900X. Don't need that much horsepower and don't want to break the bank. They also have lower spec machines and even VPS slash KVM servers. And along with that, they also offer regular game server hosting as well. At Caliber Servers, the customer is king. All clients get direct contact with the owner via WhatsApp for emergencies. Check out their website and Discord server for more information and to find a plan that is right for you. Mention the Game Chief while ordering and use code the Game Chief for 10% off your first purchase. And don't forget to thank them for sponsoring these videos. So first off, we need to talk about why using CF Tools Control Panel for your automatic restarts and messages is a good idea. Using Control Panel gives kind of a lot of versatility for your restarts. You can use relative execution time, so like scheduling at a certain time, like say 6 a.m. versus you know three hours after the server starts, stuff like that. So you can kind of pick and choose how you want that to work. You can also lock the server before the restart, so if you enable that, it will kick them before it restarts, which helps prevent duping. And another option that I really like is you can temporarily turn on the whitelist for the first few minutes after a restart to allow people who are on the whitelist and before everyone else. This can be useful for bigger servers if you want a specific group of people to be allowed in first. Of course, you will need a control panel instance slash service to do this. If you don't have one, check out my video that covers about how to get one and all that. A link to that video is in the video description in the top right hand of your screen right now as well. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started with setting up the automatic messages and restarts. Alrighty, so and as we can see, I am logged into the CF Tools control panel. We can see my instances and servers here. Um, the first thing I do want to do though is since in a previous video we set up messages and automatic restarts using the messages.xml file, we're going to want to go ahead and disable those first before we set it up here with CF Tools control panel. So I'm going to go ahead and remote into my server here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and open up Atom, and then I'm going to navigate to that messages.xml that we set up in a previous video, just so we can go ahead and disable that as we won't be using it now. So it would be in MP missions, the mission folder, and then in here, messages. And then we're just going to go ahead and add a comment here so these won't run. So if you did do this beforehand and you have this all set up this way, then you'll want to comment this out like I'm doing here. That way these messages won't get ran as well. And we'll go ahead and save this file. And then we can minimize out our remote connection for now. So next we're going to go ahead and select our server from over here in the control panel. And we're going to go over to configuration. And then now that we're in the configuration tab, let's go ahead and go to the scheduler. And as you can see, we don't have anything set up right now, but that's about to change. So we're going to go ahead and schedule a new job, and we're going to go ahead and do restart server as a job. This does give you a bunch of other different things you can do, such as message all players, send a global message, unlock or lock the server, reactivate the whitelist or suspend the whitelist. But for now, we'll do restart server. And then there's execution type. So we do want this to happen every single day, not specific days. So we'll do daily. And then you can do a specified time, so like 6 a.m., 12 p.m., you know, 6 p.m., stuff like that. The reason why I don't like doing that for the most part is because every time there's a mod update, your server's going to restart. So say you have a mod update at 5 a.m. or something like that, then your server's only going to be up for an hour before that happens. So instead, I use relative execution time. So this is how long the server's been up, and then it'll happen. And then, so this is how many minutes after it starts that you would want it to restart. So typically in my case, I do every six hours, so that's 360 minutes. And then we would want to lock the server before the restart, and then we want to kick everyone before the restart as well, which helps prevent duping. And then this is where you can go and enter the minutes, um, basically when it wants to send warnings out. So typically I do, you know, one for 120 minutes, so, you know, two hours beforehand, one, one hour beforehand. And then 30 minutes, 15, 10, 5. And then after 5, I like to do a full countdown. And just like that, and that's typically how I would set it up. Since we're going to be testing this, though, we're going to actually use just 15-minute ones for now, just to make sure everything's working. And we'll adjust this a bit later to actually match the time that we want. And then since 15, I'm just going to go ahead and change this to just be 
you know, 10, and then we'll do a countdown for every minute. And now that we have that all filled in, I'm gonna go ahead and hit add job. So that'll get added over there. And the one other thing I did wanna change in the scheduler is I wanted to go ahead and modify it. So essentially the first five minutes after the server restarts, it will be whitelist only. So that means that you can whitelist certain people and they can go ahead and they'll be able to join first and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do suspend whitelist. We'll do daily again, and then we'll say Five minutes after the server starts, you can suspend the whitelist, and we'll go ahead and hit add job. And this is totally optional. If you don't want to do that, then just skip that part, but it's something that you can do. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save configuration. And next, we're going to go ahead and go over to the whitelist tab. And then I am going to enable this module. And then I'm going to adjust the kick reason. And then I went ahead and changed the kick reason to server address restart. Please wait a few minutes for both of them, even if their whitelist is expired. And then it's going to be on the main video series um, instance for that whitelist. And then we'll go ahead and hit save. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and go to the messenger tab. And then I'm going to go ahead and enable this module. And this is what allows us to kind of send some messages every once in a while, um, such as you know, server restarts every six hours or whatever. And then we can see we have message placeholders, so it kind of just gives us some placeholders we can use. And we're gonna go ahead and set up a few custom messages real fast. Alrighty, and we have a few different messages set up. So the layout of this is the first tab is like private, whether or not it's gonna be sent to all players or if it's gonna be still sent to all players, but instead is a direct message to them. If you do select private, it allows us to use certain variables like percent name or something like that, which will then fill in their name when it messages them. And then the start offset is going to be the number of seconds essentially after the server starts that it will go ahead and start doing this. And in this case, I set this up to be six minutes after the server starts. This is something you'd really want to play around with, see how you like it. And then once it sends it the first time, it's going to repeat sending it. And once you set it up to start the first time and after that first offset, it will send it once and then it will repeatedly send this message based off the message interval. So in this case, the 2400 seconds comes out to 40 minutes. Again, you'll wanna play with this to kind of get it right, but this is gonna be perfect for us testing out the messages. And then for this message, we just put this server typically restarts every six hours or when a mod updates, whichever comes first. And then we added a note saying players are typically kicked one minute before the restart, because that is true. It will kick them about one minute before it restarts. The next message will display about 40 seconds after the first and it will run every 40 minutes as well. These are just kind of example times. You'll want to play with these to get these quite right. This one says, thanks for playing on server name, which will automatically pull the server name and fill it. And then it says, tell your friends to join server host colon server port. So that will take the IP address and then the port. And the next one, again, another 40 seconds with the same 40 minute interval. We did select this one to be private though, because this one uses placeholders. So this one uses hey percent name, so it'll actually grab the player's name and send them their own name. And then it says, did you know you can type exclamation point help to see all the server commands, give it a try. So that's just the default command that lists out all the different in-game commands that we can set on this tab right here. In the future, there's gonna be a video on a bunch of different custom commands you can kind of make there that I think are really useful on a bunch of different servers. So that'll be a different one though. And then the last one we did was again private because we use percent name which is another 40 seconds after the last one, and again, every 40 minutes, and it just says, hi, player name. There's currently the current number of players, so percent players out of the max players allowed, players on the server right now. So it just kind of tells people what the current players are, and this is just a useful command to have repeat every once in a while. And now that we have these all set up, we're gonna go and hit save configuration. Now that we got everything quickly set up, we are good to go ahead and move on to testing everything in game. So we'll go ahead and go over to the dashboard here and we'll click on server and we'll do an immediate restart so that way we can get joining again. Alrighty, and now that that's restarted, we can go ahead and give it a try to join. So we'll go ahead and join our video series server here. And as we can see here, it immediately kicked me saying server just restarted, please wait a few minutes. 
and that is because I'm not on that whitelist so and it hasn't been five minutes yet so if we tab back over here and we check here we can see that it reconnected and then we try to join and then it gave us that kick and since it hasn't been five minutes yet and we're not on the whitelisted we're not going to be able to join and if you did want to whitelist someone you would just open up their profile go to your server tab on here and we would go ahead and create a whitelist entry and then it'd be you know temporary permanent um so i can do you know one day or we can do permanent however for now we're not going to go ahead and do that yet we're going to wait the full five minutes and then we'll go ahead and join and as we can see here when it had scheduled restart in 10 minutes because it's been five minutes since the server has been up and then it also said the whitelist was suspended so we should be able to join now so that seems to be working perfectly and we'll re-enter that password And we were able to get in, so it shows that the whitelist scheduling is working. And if we can see there, it says server restarting in nine minutes. And it also gave the message about it restarting every six hours or, you know, mod updates, whichever comes first. So it looks like all that's working, but we'll go ahead and hang around, make sure the rest of the messages work and that it restarts as expected. And as we can see here, that inputted the server name like we were expecting and the IP and port. So that one worked as well. And it plugged in our name there when it told us about using the help command, so that's all working as expected. And the next message there about the one out of five players on, so that's working as expected, and the restart in seven minutes. And as we can see right there, it went ahead and gave us the two minute warning. So we just kind of skipped through the other ones, but those all did display. And then a second here, right as it's about to display the one minute warning, we should see ourselves getting kicked. So we'll just make sure that works real fast. And as we can see there, it quickly displayed the one minute warning and then kicked us. So giving us a kick reason, a server restart. And if we try to join again real fast here, we'll see that the server has been locked during that time. And if we go ahead and connect back to our server, here's the server we can see. So we can see all those messages that went through as well. And then we can see that it kicked me for the server restart. And then in just a moment here, it should fully restart the server. And as we can see here, it's saying server restarting now. And as we can see there, the server window closed as it went ahead and finished up shutting down. And then it's going to automatically turn back on in just a moment here. And we can see that it's starting up again, so everything appears to be working. And that's really about it. It's a very simple thing to set up. And looking over here, we can see that the server connection was lost, of course, because it was restarting. And then once it reconnected, the whitelist got enabled again. So for that first five minutes, it'll be whitelist only if we set it up that way. And everything appears to be working correctly. And that's about it. Again, I want to say thank you to Caliper Servers for sponsoring this video. Definitely go check out their Discord and website, which are both linked below. And of course, it is possible that I forgot something or there may be some sort of mistake that I didn't catch in editing. So be sure to check the video description and the pinned comment below for any corrections that there may be. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on the video or join my Discord server, which is always in the video description. Joining the Discord server does allow you to DM me and there's also a general support channel, which you can kind of post in and myself or others can help try to resolve some issues that you may be having. And if you have any video suggestions, again, feel free to leave those in the comment below. And other than that, have a good one.